Today is winter solstice. It's December 21st, 2018. We're down to about five hours and 14 minutes of sunlight. The sun came up today at 1019 and is going to go down at 334. We're just past the halfway point of the day. It doesn't seem like the sun's coming up very high. We also haven't been able to get any solar. After the earthquake, we noticed that we were getting a lot of sediment in our water when we were pumping it up from the well. So what we did is for our drinking water, we got one of these off of Amazon and this thing's actually pretty cool. It comes set up to hook right onto a spigot. I think it's meant to go on an RV. So they just take your standard 10 inch filters. It is negative three today and our well water has been perfect. It hasn't frozen in the pipe. This is the water that's coming out of the well without the filter. So it's not too bad at all, but um, if you let it settle for a while, you will get a little bit of sediment on the bottom. I'm gonna hook up our filter and I'm gonna fill up another glass so I can kind of show you the comparison of uh, the filtered water versus non-filtered water. So I'm gonna stick the filter on and fill up our drinking water for us. And these threads are a little bit, they got some water on them and they're frozen. So we're gonna hit it with the torch real quick. All right, like I said, this comes with an adapter. So this just screws right onto any spigot or garden hose. All right, so these filters, I think we went to Walmart and the actual replacement filter that goes inside, we got two of them for $8. And they're just, we just got the sediment filters. We don't need the carbon filters, which take out that kind of like bad smell. If you have that, we don't have that. We just need to filter out the sediment. So they're pretty cheap. And if you look, you can tell the difference. This one right here is filtered and this one, is just straight from the well. And like we said, it's not too bad. So what we're doing is we're basically just uh, filtering out our drinking water. Our um, water we have inside our in our storage tank that we're using for dishes and showering, stuff like that, we're not filtering it just so we don't go through our filters as fast. Okay, since this is the shortest day of the year, we figured we'd tackle this next project. The way our sink works is we have one pipe, drains down into our five gallon bucket. And then when this thing gets full, we basically just bring it outside and dump it. But we always get caught up not paying attention and whatnot, and this thing is constantly overfilling. We do have this uh, little Rubbermaid container down here to catch it, but it's still a pain. So our plan is to take this small plumbing kit we got from Lowe's, drill a hole in the wall, run the pipe outside so the water drains out there and we don't have to worry about taking this bucket out anymore. As you guys know, living off grid and this kind of lifestyle is pretty new to us. Seems like we're constantly upgrading stuff and changing the way things work. We thought this bucket system would work fine, but we're getting sick of it. And for like $12, we're going to fix it. Let's head outside. Can I say something? All right, we punched through the wall. We didn't even hit any wires or anything. So I'm gonna see if we got this thing fitted up correctly. All right, so we got our plumbing done. Let's test it out.
Now that we got the plumbing done underneath, this is just a galvanized bin, so it's not meant to be a sink. So it doesn't go to a shallow point at the bottom. This little kit we bought for the drain, but it sits up a tiny bit. So the water doesn't really want to go in there and it's kind of hard to push, you know, food and stuff down there. I'm going to take that off and there's a black gasket in there that's meant to go on the top. And I'm going to take that out and replace it with silicone. And then we're gonna come underneath and we're gonna do our layer on the bottom. Now I'm just hooking all of our plumbing lines back up. Okay, let me clean this up in here. And it looks like we got a Pretty nice uh, seal and that edge went way down. So it's gonna be a lot easier to, you know, push your water and whatnot down the sink.